Weather for the weekend will be best in the morning hours. Dry tomorrow morning, stormy later in the afternoon. We'll do the same thing coming up on Sunday. 58 at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 66, 70 by 11 a.m. Cool clouds from our Viero camera network. This is a storm moving into Akron earlier this afternoon. A lot of action in those clouds, scattered showers coming through, and that's what we'll see every single day, not only through the weekend, but into early next week. As far as conditions, today it was 85, 58 was the low. The normals are at 82 and 52, and the record 102 in 2006. Right now, 67 downtown, 60 at the airport. Pressure's falling, winds are out of the east at 8. Here's what's happening across the region. Cooler air moving off to the east of us. Hot weather to the southwest. This front will impact us for the weekend. So for tonight, Scattered storms are coming to an end, but overnight as this next front begins to move in, we'll see cooler air push in. The front stalls over the mountains of Colorado, and that's going to be the focus for thunderstorm activity each day right through the weekend into early next week. 52 tonight in Denver, 53 Greeley, 35 at Leadville. Across the front range, mostly 40s in the mountains and low to mid 50s on the plains. We will start out dry, a little bit cool and kind of breezy, especially over northeast Colorado. Partly cloudy skies through midday. Storms begin to develop toward lunchtime in the afternoon. Scattered storms, mostly the Denver area and northeast plains. The severe stuff stays to the southeast of us for tomorrow. The temperatures are cooler, 75 in Denver, 76 Greeley and Fort Collins, 56 at Leadville, some 80s down over the southeast. Front range numbers tomorrow, mostly 60s in the mountains and middle 70s expected over eastern Colorado. Tonight's forecast, partly cloudy. Winds turn a bit gusty as that front goes by out of the northwest at 10 to 20. For tomorrow, the high temperature expected to be at 75. It will be dry in the morning. The storms begin to develop 1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Winds a little breezy from the northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Rinse and repeat. For Sunday, dry in the morning, storms likely in the afternoon, a high of 73. We'll do it again on Monday, dry in the morning, storms in the afternoon, a high of 72. Those three days will all be first alert action days because of the thunderstorms. The severe weather threat, only marginal. There's not going to be a lot of tornado activity or anything like that. It's mostly heavy rain and lightning with these afternoon storms. By the time we get to Tuesday, a few storms in the afternoon, but the atmosphere starts to dry out a bit as that front begins to push out of here. Then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, look very nice with temperatures in the low 80s, sunny to partly cloudy skies, and the rain chances drop back to that always possible 10% chance of storms that we see on any day in June in Colorado.